Today, I'm going to help you decide what's best for your worship team, Prime or Ableton Live, and explain that Ableton Live is a lot more affordable than you might think. Now, I want to stress up front, this is not a full shootout, full comparison of Prime and Ableton Live. If you're interested in that, I did an over an hour long video comparing Prime and playback to Ableton Live. Click the link in the description of this video to check that out. But in this video, as quickly as possible, I wanna to try to help you decide, and this is the most important thing, what's right for you. Should you use Prime? Should you use Ableton Live? Now let's start up top with some really defining questions that are absolutes that will make it really easy to decide what you should do. If you're using a Windows PC, a Windows computer, you've gotta use Ableton Live. Uh, Prime, at least in the recording of this video, is not available on Windows, so Ableton Live is it for you. Now, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, an iOS device, uh, at the time of this recording, I don't think ever, Ableton Live is not available on iPad or iPhone, so you will be using Prime. And you should purchase content from Loop Community to use in Prime. We'll talk about that more in just a moment. Now, what about an Android device? If you have an Android device, um, unfortunately, neither of these apps are available on Android. So I would highly suggest you purchase a Windows computer or a Mac computer, you may already have one, uh, and run Ableton Live on it. Now, what about Mac? When it comes to Mac, I can have both Prime and Ableton Live uh, on a Mac, so what should I use? Well, this becomes a little more nuanced conversation at this point, and I wanna share some things that will help us drill down a little further to understand understand this, but I do want to share just kind of a personal note. In my personal opinion, while I can run Prime on Mac, I wouldn't consider it a Mac app. It's a iPad iOS developed app that is available on Mac. It still feels a little bit like, uh, you know, an iPad app. It's really big. It's made primarily for touch, not for interaction with the mouse. So if you're looking for just an app that works really well on desktop and feels like a native desktop app, I would choose Ableton Live. But okay, let's take my personal opinion out of this. Let's get back to what's best for you. It's not what's best for me, what's best for you. Uh, when does Prime make sense? Well, if you're a worship leader um, that uh, is, is really looking to just get going really quickly, you purchase your content from Loop Community. Uh, you're not really interested in full editing capabilities. You just want really simple kind of editing capabilities. Um, and again, stress, you purchase content from Loop Community that I think Prime is the right choice for you. Again, thankfully you could run it on Mac. You could also run it on iPad or iPhone. But I think in that case, then Prime is the right choice for you. Now, is Prime that much cheaper than Ableton Live? A lot of times people say, well, I use Prime because it's free. Well, there's some really great features, some really great free features of, of Prime, but there are times that you have to upgrade and get to uh, Loop Pro to, to use Prime. And I wanna kind of dive a little further into that and show you as we walk through this that Ableton Live is not that much more expensive than Prime. You'll, you'll actually be surprised. So number one, let's, let's talk about this. What if I wanna use custom content? So I've got Prime on my Mac here. One of the nice features that Loop Community allows is I could use content from other people in Prime. Uh, if I purchase content from Multitracks, I could upload this to um, um, my Loop Cloud account. Um, I could add some additional space there and I could use that directly in Prime. That sounds like a great thing, doesn't it, right? But I wanna stress when I'm doing that, I have to pay to become a Loop Pro member. So let's check out the plans here available for um, uh, for this. So for 50 gigs, I could pay $5 a month, which uh, it really is not bad. Um, but then I have to upload my content to the cloud to then use it on my computer. And that's where, again, this starts to break down to me as a desktop app. I can't just open the app and load content into it. I have to go purchase a Loop Pro plan, which again is affordable, upload that to the cloud to then load it into the app. Whereas with Ableton Live, and let's take you back over to Ableton Live here, um, I can just create a new Ableton Live file, I can load my content in, uh, and it's ready to go. And it doesn't matter where that con whether that content's from multi-tracks, uh, from Loop Community, or my own content, that's all gonna function and look exactly the same in Ableton Live. Uh, as a side note, if you're using Ableton Live for tracks, make sure you download my free Ableton Live template. You can get it by heading to from studiostage.com slash template. Uh, and when you do that, you'll learn how to format your songs exactly the same way. Again, whether they're from Loop Community, from Multitracks, uh, something else you've created. And you can create a set using that template of that formatted content really in less than five minutes. I'll actually link to a video where I show you how to do that and link to a video where I 
show you exactly how to format content um, in uh, a loop community content in Ableton Live, uh, and it's gonna really give you the best experience. Now, let's get back to our list here and walk through what we're talking about. So again, for me, from a desktop experience, I think uh, Ableton Live is best because it's made for a desktop, it's not made for touch. Two, I think if you're using custom content, um, you should use Ableton Live because you uh, don't have to deal with uploading to a cloud and processing. And when it comes to Prime, um, uh, once you start doing time signature changes, tempo changes, uh, using custom content, things start to break down. You can't always use their dynamic click uh, in the app. Um, things aren't as great and as simple as they are without custom content. Now, um, what's better for me for editing my set? Now, obviously, if you've used Prime before, you know there's some really great edits that you can do. We can remove song sections, solo, mute, adjust track volumes, adjust start in times, key tempo changes, preset song transitions. But what if you wanna do more? Uh, Ableton Live can do all those things as well too, but what if you wanna dive a, a little bit further? Um, what if you want to make custom song transitions? You wanna go from one song to the next and you wanna just decide exactly when that transition should be, what type of transition it should be, then you're gonna to want to use Ableton Live. What if you wanna combine sections? You wanna take a verse and a bridge, or you wanna make a remix, custom remix, where you take the verse of one song, the chorus of another song, combine them together, well, it's gonna be Ableton Live. What if you actually wanna change uh, section names? You wanna take what's labeled as a bridge and you wanna make it a verse, you can do that in Ableton Live. How about removing parts from a song? What I mean by that is, let's say we've got an electric two-part that we really, really love in Ableton Live. We wanted to play the entire song, but in the bridge, we wanna take that out. Prime can't do that. Again, that's a, a layer of customiza customization that's beyond what Prime can do. And honestly, I think what Prime should do, it's a little more complex, but Ableton Live can do that, which is great. So again, if you want some more in-depth customization of things, then I think it's worth uh, considering Ableton Live as opposed to Prime. Now, what if I need the ability to skip or repeat a song section on the fly? Uh, again, as I've uh, mentioned before, both apps can uh, really allow for freedom and flexibility. Repeat song sections, jump song sections, skip song sections. I can loop and flow those sorts of things. So so both apps are, are pretty equal with that. Um, and we'll talk in the end about um, a good way to know how to do that with Ableton Live. But let's talk about a couple more questions and let's get back to that point of price that we talked about before. Uh, what if you're in a situation where you wanna automate lights, you wanna automate lyrics? Um, what's really cool is both apps can do that. But again, let's start talking about price and let's talk about the distinction between those, those two things. In order for me to send MIDI out of a uh, loop community, out of Prime, I have to be a Pro Plus member. Pro Plus member membership costs $19.99 a month, or if we pay annually, it costs $219 a year. So in order for me to use Loop Community's Prime app, which is free, um, to send MIDI out, I have to pay $219 a year, okay? So there it is on the Loop Pro Plus uh, page here. Now, what most churches don't know is if you are a church, uh, you then qualify for EDU pricing for Ableton Live. You can also get EDU pricing as a From Studio Stage student, regardless of whether you're at a church or not. But let's look at the EDU pricing for Ableton Live 11 standard, which is all you need to run tracks. You don't have to have Ableton Live suite to run tracks. So if we look at pricing here, pricing for Ableton Live 11 standard is $269. And again, if we compare that to Loop Pro Plus, $219, we're only off by $50. And what's great about Ableton Live is it's a one-time purchase, it's not a subscription. And in addition to all the features we talked about, all the things we can do, complex editing, it's a full doll. What I mean by that is you can record, you can edit audio, you can edit MIDI, you could record your church's sermon, edit it, export it, you could uh, you know, create your own songs, do all sorts of really great things in Ableton Live with a full DAW. And it's only $50 more expensive than Loop Pro Plus for a year. It's a one-time purchase, but it's only $50 more and you get all of those extra features. So I hope this video helped you decide, should you use Prime, should you use Ableton Live? But it's possible you've hesitated in using Ableton Live. Maybe you've heard from folks or you've even thought yourself, isn't this too difficult to learn? Uh, doesn't this take a very long time to learn? Um, you know, how am I gonna use this? This is why I'm using Prime. I've heard that Ableton is just way too difficult to use. It's not volunteer friendly. That's why I'm considering Prime. Well, I wanna encourage you to check out From Studio to Stage. You can head to fromstudiostage.com slash subscribe. We'll drop, drop a link in the description of this video as well too, where you can join a communi uh, community that's dedicated to helping you learn how to run tracks like a pro 
with Ableton Live. Whether you're a worship leader, a music director, just um, uh, someone volunteering at your church, when you join from Studio Stage, you get access to the entire community, all the courses, all the content, and you're gonna learn how to do this step by step, which is great. But maybe you're not ready for the full commitment, you're not ready to pay quite yet, all you gotta do is hit subscribe to this channel, enable the bell icon, because I post a brand new tutorial every single day that's all about this content. Uh, if you wanna learn how to run tracks like a pro with Ableton Live, then you are in exactly the right place. Now we've talked about Prime, we've talked about Ableton Live, what about playback? Well, next week on the channel, I'm gonna compare playback to Ableton Live in a similar fashion, try to as quickly as possible answer the question, what's best for your worship team? Uh, I'll see you next week and we'll answer that question then. Thanks so much, take care everybody, bye.